Honourable Ministers, uh, distinguished panel, participants, colleagues, friends, um, I'm afraid as well as taking up time while the necessary adjustments are made, I'm now going to lower the tone of the discussion. Um, we've heard some uh, very interesting, informative, thoughtful and, and serious contributions this morning. Uh, I'm afraid I'm just here as uh, a salesman. And I'm very grateful to Salim and uh, the organizers for just giving me a few, uh, a little slot to uh, sell my wares to you. I wish to uh, sell you a, a proposal. Um, and uh, so you can look on this, if you like, as a little advertising uh, intermission while, uh, uh, before we return to the uh, more serious business. The uh, product I wish to sell to you is what we would call, what we're calling uh, adaptation learning exchanges. Um, in defense of this product, I, I would say it is uh, consistent with, uh, and indeed in the spirit of uh, the CBA conferences themselves. These conferences, as I understand them, are about bringing adaptation practitioners together, allowing them to exchange, share experiences, ideas, knowledge, to learn from each other and to form relationships between uh, uh, different organizations and groups. And that is uh, what these adaptation learning uh, exchanges are also attempting to do. Um, as a little bit of background, I should say my name is Barney Dixon. I'm from uh, UNEP, where I work in, on uh, uh, climate change adaptation. And one of the things that we do in UNEP is to run something called the Global Adaptation Network. This is a, a global network uh, devoted to promoting um, exchange and learning on, on adaptation and how, how to do it. Uh, it has a number of component uh, regional networks underneath the sort of global umbrella. Uh, the one which may be known to uh, uh, some of you here is the uh, APAN, the Asia Pacific Adaptation Network. Uh, within GAN, within the Global Adaptation Network, over the last year, we've been doing some thinking about uh, what makes for successful uh, uh, learning on adaptation? What makes for a successful uh, um, uh, knowledge exchange? And we've identified uh, three things in particular. One, often what is needed amongst practitioners is, 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 is knowledge of how to do it. Knowledge of practical knowledge. Practical knowledge about how to uh, overcome uh, particular problems or challenges, whether those are challenges of finding um, uh, uh, necessary resources, challenges of d dealing with uh, uh, local administrations, challenges of uh, building support within a community. It's that kind of practical knowledge which is often what is needed. And the second point is that the best people to learn from are those who have done it already, those who've done it successfully, those who's who in similar circumstances have overcome similar types of problems. And the third point is that the best way to learn is through face-to-face -face exchanges, not through uh, uh, um, uh, 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 studying case studies which you found on the internet um, or through other forms of learning, but through that face-to-face -face contact, having time to sit down and discuss and, and, and work out uh, uh, the solutions to your own set of problems. So this, uh, in the light of those observations, this year, GAN, in a, in a sort of pilot phase or an inception phase, the Global Adaptation Network will be sponsoring three such learning exchanges. Each exchange will typically involve two groups or organizations. One, a set of practitioners um, who want to learn, and the second, another group who've already done something similar in a, a not too dissimilar set of circumstances. And, and, and to bring those two groups together in, in order that the uh, uh, learning can occur. The two groups may be two groups within a country, or within a region, neighboring countries perhaps, or they could be from um, uh, 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 opposite sides of the globe. We're open on that one. Um, and what we'd like to do at this conference 
is to identify the participants in the first of these learning exchanges. So um, if you are a group that um, uh, 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 has something that you would like to learn about from another group of practitioners, if you are a set of practitioners who you think you have something to teach, then come to see me. Uh, and ideally, come to see the pair of you come together. But if you just want to come one by one, that's fine also. We can see what we can do to facilitate those connections. Um, I, we will, I will be running a poster session tomorrow afternoon between 4.30 and 6, where we can talk more about this. But do come and see me in the meantime as well. Unfortunately, I have to leave very early on Wednesday morning. So basically, I'm here today and tomorrow. Uh, you'll have to fill out a fairly small form, an expression of interest form, and I will need that either before I leave, but I don't have to have it before I leave. We'll give you a couple of weeks to fill out that simple form. So, this product I'm selling to you, these learning exchanges, won't actually cost you any of your cash, or very little of it. We hope the Global Adaptation Network can cover costs of travel and uh, and, and, and subsistence and, and, and other related costs in the main. However, this product is not completely free. What it requires from you is commitment, commitment to making them exchange work, commitment of your time, and commitment afterwards to do something to follow up on that exchange, to disseminate that learning more widely beyond the um, uh, uh, two groups who've been participating. Okay, thank you very much. That's the end of the advertisement. I hope to hear from you. I look forward to meeting you. Thank you very much. And now we go back to the more serious business.